I'm standing on the seventh tee at the Andy Kirsch Golf Club on a warm, sultry summer morning. Uh, this is quite a piece of real estate. I spent a big part of my life walking around these hills and vales as I pan the, uh, the, the background here. Um, I played golf for 45 years uh, in my youth. When I was 10, I used to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, head to the golf club with three clubs, two egg salad sandwiches, and a bag full of dreams. I would spend the whole day here, some days playing as much as 54 holes, um, looking for golf balls, caddying, practicing, and at the end of the day, we typically had a putting contest many times uh, in the very dark of night. Just we'll let this uh, fellow pass here. Anyway, I'm going to do a story uh, sometime this summer about golf. I, w I had planned on doing one about the uh, about the kilted, but that would be uh, that would be a dangerous thing to write and uh, may spoil some reputation. So I think I'll take a pass in that. I'm just going to walk down here to the uh, to the sixth green, take a little shot here. I must say that um, as I get older, I haven't played the last eight years. And as a result, I haven't hit any bad shots. But the few times that I have played, um, I've discovered the real joy of golf. And it's not about uh, shooting low scores. It's about the walk and the companionship. So coming up uh, a little bit later this summer, www.week45.com, uh, a story about golf. And a lot of people say golf is a, a good walk spoil, but I, I tend not to agree. So we'll see you later on this summer, and in the meantime, have a great day.